if we want to find the slope of a line that goes through two points such as these, we're going to use this formulation of slope. We're going to subtract the different y values and put that in the numerator. And on the bottom, we're going to put the difference between the x values. So on the top, between my y values, I get 5 minus negative 1. I could have done it the other way. In other words, negative 1 minus 5, as long as I'm consistent with my bottom. So in the denominator, because the 5 went first in the numerator, the negative 4, is, which is paired with it, is going to go first. And I'm going to do negative 4 minus negative 2. 5 minus negative 1 is like 5 plus 1, which is 6. Negative 4 minus negative 2 is like negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2. So I get 6 over negative 2, which can be reduced to negative 3 over 1. And a couple of things. I put the negative on the top just because it's a little more conventional. This means it goes down 3, rise of negative 3, every time it goes over 1. And I left it in a ratio form because it helps me remember that it's a ratio of rise over run as opposed to just writing negative 3. So graphically, we can see that the, the line is going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, every time it goes over 1, just like that. So that's my slope. That's my ratio, down 3 over 1, and I used this part of the formula to find it. Hope that helps. Thank you.